In this lesson, we are going to review rates. Uh, and rates are a little bit different than ratios, as you learned in the last lesson, what a ratio was, it compared quantities in the same units. What a rate is, is it compares quantities in different units. So an example here would be uh, 450 kilometers per five hours, and you can write it with a slash, as you can see here. Uh, that's 450 kilometers per five hours, and those are different units. Kilometers is a distance, and hours is a time. So it's comparing things in different units. Or dollars per hour is a type of rate that you see in a way that you get paid on the job. You get a dollars per hour. Uh, there's a variety of different types of rates that you can deal with and that we're looking at in this particular section. Uh, the second key idea here, and again, you want to pause this and write it down as we're going over it, um, is a unit rate. And a unit rate is helpful. We'll see that in just a second here. A unit rate is a rate where the second term is numerically equal to 1. Okay, so a unit rate is useful for comparing rates. So for example, $1.25 per liter is a unit rate because it's per one liter. Okay, or if you're getting paid, here's another example for you. If you were getting paid, let's say $15 per hour, that would be a unit rate because it's per one hour. Okay, so we're gonna do one example here, and again, you might wanna pause this video to copy it down before we do it, and you may wanna do some of these calculations on your own as you're going over this problem. Uh, we have an example here, and we're gonna solve by calculating the unit rate, and the question is, which is the better buy? 625 milliliters of salsa for $5.50, or 900 milliliters for $8.10. There are a variety of ways to solve and show your mathematical thinking. Um, I'm just gonna show you one of many ways, and this is uh, what I find tends to be the most easiest direct way for understanding these problems. <clears throat> so let's check this out right now. So if we have 625 milliliters of salsa for 550, so this guy here that I'm highlighting in green, what we would like to do is we wanna find out how much money it costs per one milliliter. That's a unit rate, so we would like to know, so put think here, we would like to know how much money per milliliter. Because I can't compare these right now because they're different volumes. One of the volumes is 625 milliliters and the other volume is 900 milliliters. So if I can figure out how much it costs per one milliliter for each of these, then what I can do is compare them as a unit rate. So, for salsa number one, if I want to figure out the cost per milliliter, what I need to do is divide the cost by the number of milliliters. So, I'm going to do $5.50 and divide that by 625 milliliters, and that will give me the cost per milliliter. So, 550, and again, you might want to practice this on your own on your calculator to make sure you're getting the same numbers, and that is 0 0.0088, so it's less than a penny, this is a useful number per milliliter. So let's look at salsa number two so we can compare these. So salsa number two is $8.10 for 900 milliliters. And if we want to find out the cost per milliliter, because this will be a useful number, we are going to do $8.10 and divide it by 900 milliliters. And that gives us a unit rate of 0 0.009 dollars per milliliter. Now we have to compare these. Which one is cheaper? Which one is the better rate? So in this scenario, you may think that the one with the 88 is more because it says 88, but if you look at the place values here, they differ in these two parts that I'm highlighting in orange in the thousandths place value. So the one that's actually cheaper is the 0 0.0088 so that's cheaper per milliliter, so that's the better deal. So this is here, the best buy. And in brackets, what you're gonna write is, it's cheaper per milliliter, okay?